Ms. Meng was arrested pursuant to Canada's extradition treaty with the United States. There was no political involvement. The case is before the Canadian courts and is being considered in Canada's judicial system as it ought to be. We have been in regular contact with the Chinese authorities about this case. Our ambassador to China, John McCallum, has spoken to the Chinese government on more than one occasion to provide them with information about the process. I spoke to, Canada, to China's ambassador to Canada today. Ms. Meng has been released on bail and we will continue to ensure that the Chinese government is kept up to date on the next steps in the judicial process. I'd also like to speak about the detention of a Canadian citizen in China, Mr. Michael Kovrig. I can confirm the reports of his detention. Canada is deeply concerned by the detention of Mr. Kovrig, and Canada has raised the case directly with Chinese officials. We're providing consular assistance to Mr. Kovrig's family and remain very seized of this case. We are aware uh, of a Canadian uh, who got in touch with us uh, because he was being asked questions by Chinese authorities. Uh, we have not been able to make contact with him since he let us know about this. We are working very hard to ascertain his whereabouts and we have also raised this case with the Chinese authorities. We are in touch with his family. It, I think, is quite obvious that it is ought to be incumbent on parties seeking an extradition from Canada, recognizing that Canada is a rule of law country, to ensure that any extradition request is about ensuring that justice is done is about ensuring that the rule of law is respected and is not politicized or used for any other purpose.